Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to try to explain to you the meaning of the word morphology. Morphology, you can see written here in two parts. I've written the stem of the word in blue, and in green I've written the suffix of the word. Morphology is the study of the ways in which different parts of words are put together. So here, morph means shape. That's carrying most of the meaning for this particular word. Morph is the shape. Ology is the study of something. So morphology is the study of shapes. In actual fact, morphology is something that comes up in biology. It comes up in geography. It's a widely used word, particularly when you get to A-level and degree level. But in our case, we're talking about the, st the study of the shapes of words. Now you can see here, I've set out the words prefix, stem and suffix. And I'm going to show you the morphology of a simple word that you're all familiar with. You can see here the word happy. You all know what happy is. You know what it means. It's an adjective used to describe a person or a creature that is feeling positive. Now, let's say I want to turn that on its head and say that somebody is feeling not positive but negative and they're feeling unhappy. I add the prefix un and that changes and reverses the meaning of happy. So we go from someone who's feeling a positive emotion on a birthday or they've won the lottery and we flip that around to the other direction and we have somebody who's suffered some sort of misfortune. Now, maybe I don't want to talk about this as an adjective. Maybe I want to just talk about the idea of that emotion. Well, in that case, I have to add a suffix and because the main stem ends with Y I have to add in an I and drop the Y before I add the suffix ness unhappiness here the, the morpheme ness the suffix ness is showing the reader or the listener that I'm no longer using an adjective but I'm using a noun the suffix ness means that I'm talking about a state or an emotion, a way of feeling, an idea. So I'm no longer describing Bill, Fred or Brian. I'm describing, I, I'm defining the idea of an emotion and identifying that emotion of unhappiness. Morphology is the study of the ways in which parts of words like this can be put together to create new ones. Professional authors and journalists often mess around with words in this way and do it in creative ways to create non-standard words. You might hear someone saying that they will meet you at 8-ish, which isn't grammatically an idea that you'd see in standard English, but in conversation or in a piece of informal writing, we'd know exactly that somebody meant when they said ish, that they were going to meet you at approximately 8 o'clock. So looking at the way that writers manipulate the prefixes and the suffixes around a stem is one way in which you can show that you have a lot of insight and understanding when it comes to a writer's style. So that's what morphology is. It's a study of the shapes of words. Thank you.